Hey guys, my name is Tamara and recently I went onto my Tumblr and I asked what do you lovelies want to see a vlog about? And someone suggested a video about asexuality and the common misconceptions behind it. Now I've been wanting to make this video for a while now and I haven't had a chance to, but knowing that there is at least one person out there who wishes to understand it better, it gives me a chance and the confidence to speak clearly about it. So for those of you who don't know, I am a grey asexual. Don't worry, I'll explain it in a moment. So, to start off with, seeing as I hope this video will be educational, let's start off with a definition. So, what is asexuality? Asexuality or non-sexuality is the lack of sexual attraction to anyone or a low or absent interest in sexual activity. Whilst grey asexuality is sexual orientation on the asexual spectrum in which one can experience sexual attraction, however rarely only under specific circumstances. Now, asexuality is one of those sexualities that isn't really talked about, not because it's a bad thing, but because it is a very uncommonly known sexuality. Whilst we have the more commonly known sexualities such as lesbian, gay, bi, trans, there are sexualities such as asexuality, aromantic and pansexuality which are sort of kept under the box. Now, I wish to point out that asexuality is different to aromantic, as one of my favourite misconceptions about asexuality is One time I saw an asexual in a relationship. That must mean they had lied about being asexual. No friend, that is not how it works. Being asexual does not stop you from being in a relationship. It is not based solely around sexual attraction. An asexual can identify to having a romantic attraction to other people of any sexuality. It does not necessarily have to be sexual. Personally, I only found out about asexuality because of Tumblr. This is where it gets personal, guys. From around the age of 15, I felt like there was something wrong with me. I had always thought that eventually I would want to engage in sex, or I would eventually feel sexual attraction towards someone, but all that, that never really happened. I remember one day stumbling upon the word asexual on Tumblr and just thinking about it. And I never really stopped thinking about it. The scary thing for me is that if I had never gone onto Tumblr and I would have never have found out about asexuality and I would continue to believe that there was something wrong with me. For a long time after discovering asexuality and coming to my own personal conclusion of being part of this spectrum, I wanted it to change. I wanted to feel as though I was normal. Obviously the media is very sexual orientated and I always thought that was the norm and even after discovering the term asexual, that is what I wanted to be. I wanted to be the norm. I have identified as asexual for almost two years now and I do slip into days where I just want to feel normal and it's awful. Anyway, let's come off the drabble known as my life and look at the common misconceptions of asexuality. Number one, it's just celibacy isn't it? No. Celibacy is a personal choice where a person abstains from having sex either voluntarily or involuntarily. The important thing about celibacy is generally the person has the desire to have sex, but makes the decision to suppress the desire. It's all about behaviour. Whilst for asexuals, it is the underlying feelings. Number two, so an asexual person will never have sex. That is not necessarily true. Whilst there are asexuals who will never partake in sex, there are those who actually enjoy it and do it on a daily basis. They just don't feel sexual attraction. Number three, there must be something wrong with you. Humans are supposed to procreate. Stop right there, sir. The idea of procreation is a personal choice. If you want to have children, that's fine. If you don't want to have children, that is also fine. There are completely straight people who do not want children. That is fine. There are asexuals like myself who would love to have children, and that is also fine. And finally, number four, don't knock it till you try it, i.e. you've never had sex, how do you know? Some asexuals have had sex and realised, yeah, nah, this is not for me. Some, like myself, have not had sex, and maybe that's just not the room for us. If you want more information, I have left links in the description below, which may help explain asexuality a little better than I can, and there are also several Tumblr blogs dedicated to asexuality if you want to go check those out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, then give it a like, leave a comment if you want to see any other videos similar to this in the future from me. I'm really glad that I've actually finally had the chance to make this video, just knowing that at least one person actually wants to hear me talk about this as it is a very important and quite personal issue for me. So that ends today's vlog, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.
Hi guys. There are probably people who can talk about this better, but I'm just glad that I'm one of those people who people go, hey, what is this? Explain it. That's incredible to me. I feel... I feel good.